y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. Listen, wanted to show you guys a quick, quick video, very quick. Show you some of the boxes that my mom has already begun to wrap for me for um, Easter and for Mother's Day, guys. These red and white ones that you see here are best um, boxes that she wrapped up for Valentine's Day, and I never did use them. And also this polka dot with the blue and red and green. Those two and these two are from Valentine's Day. But I want to show you guys this um, beautiful, beautiful unicorn um, paper that I got from Walmart during Christmas. I don't know if any of you happen to pick any of this up. But if you did, you did a really, really great job for yourself because this is something that can be used for Easter. Um, also, like I said, it was sold during Christmas with the Christmas wrapping paper, but it, as you can see, does not have absolutely anything dealing with Christmas on it. So these are some great, great um, ideas, guys, for those of you new following me. When you don't have a stockpile of baskets on hand, get you some boxes and get to wrapping you guys if you're um not sure how to wrap boxes then follow me on my channel and i will try to remember to put a a pin a pin link in the um description bar of a video of my mom wrapping these boxes guys i have been wrapping boxes for the last 20 plus years that i've been doing gift baskets i've been doing gift baskets for almost 25 years but out of that 25 i know at least 22 or 23 years we have been wrapping boxes guys so if you don't have a great great stack a supply of baskets like this then guess what no worries all you got to do is get you some boxes get to dollar tree or your local store and get you some nice wrapping paper guys and get the wrapping this is going to be really really cute for Mother's Day, the blue and white is going to be cute for Mother's Day. And this blue and white actually was Christmas paper as well. It was this way on one side and on the other side it's this way. So it's a reversible um, paper. And the same thing for this one. It was red and white striped on one side and polka dot on the other side. But guys, we have a lot of unicorn bears. So I'm so grateful that I did find this unicorn um paper put that back gavin put that back okay say it they can't hear you he trying to tell y'all to get your money tell him gavin okay they can't hear that you in here whispering but anyway guys hold on i want to show you guys one more thing before we end this quick video so the second thing i want to show you guys is these cute cute bags that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, if you've been following me for a minute, you know that we did use some of these for Valentine's Day. But I used the small miniature ones, which came three to the pack. These are the actual larger size ones that come um, singly in the pack for $125, okay? I want to let you guys know that these are a great alternative to using gift baskets um, or using baskets or even boxes, guys, if you don't have time to wrap boxes. Dollar Tree has these cute bags in several different um, themed characters. You can buy it, and all you got to do is do what I do for all of my gift baskets, gift boxes, gift bags. Go in and stuff it with newspaper, okay? And most people are going to be using shrink wrap bags. And you know that this, this bag, this canvas bag, is a little bit flimsy, right? So even with you putting this newspaper in the bag... Once you put your items on top of it, it's still going to have a flimly, flimsiness to it. Y'all have to excuse Gavin in the background. But it's still going to have some flimsiness to it. So you want to make it more sturdy so when you get ready to shrink wrap it, it does not um, ball up. And you know how it does when you shrink wrap plush items and different things like that. You don't want it to do that. So I'm going to tell you something to do. I haven't done it already, but I am going to do it, okay? Simply get you some cardboard, okay? This is too small, but get you some cardboard from a box. Cut the box up, and then go in, guys, on the sides and on the front, and just take this newspaper and put this, not newspaper, 
um, cardboard, you're gonna put it right on the side, which is gonna give it a sturdiness on the side. And of course, I don't have a piece big enough to go in the front, but I'm gonna cut some out and we're gonna just line it up in the front of our um, basket. You can put a little bit of glue on it if you like, but to me, all you gotta do is just put the cardboard in there. And when you get ready to shrink wrap, it will give it a sturdy foundation for you to shrink, okay? Also, when you get ready to start building these bags, and of course, we're gonna do a video doing that, but I know that I'm a little behind um, as far as you guys are concerned with designing, um, I'm not, I'm not behind because I am working behind the scenes, but as far as video sake, I am behind the scenes. So what you want to do is get you some cardboard after you put it in the front and on the side of your baskets, get you a piece and lay it flat on top of your newspaper and then start to build your items on your bag, okay? And that's gonna give you, again, another sturdy foundation to build your bag. But like I said, we will be designing these on camera. So guys, if you are not quite sure what I'm talking about, stay tuned and I will show you how to build gift baskets or Easter baskets inside of these canvas bags from Dollar Tree, okay? I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you guys give you a great alternative for those of you that once again like i said do not have a stockpile of baskets or you don't have time to wrap boxes guys this is a great alternative okay and it go ahead and give you it will go ahead and give you another item to add to your theme gift baskets okay guys i will see you on the next video get your money honey and fill your bag until the next video bye bye